Hey, what's going on, you guys? Welcome back to the farm here in Nebraska. Beautiful day. And uh, we have a, a couple pieces of equipment that we need to go and pick up from the shop. I saw him sitting there the other day, and I gave him a call. I asked him how much he wanted for him. It wasn't too much, so I go ahead and went ahead and uh, bought him. We're going to take the... What do I want to take? I'm going to take my truck. I don't have permission to drive the uncles yet. I need to get permission from them. Um, I'll talk to him about it here in a couple days. But anyways, we're going to drive the old ram out there. She's a little muddy, but the windshield's cleaned off. That's what matters. We'll turn on our lights for safety, I guess, just in case. Why not? I mean, it is really, really muddy out. But we're going to run over there and pick up the couple pieces of equipment that we bought. We bought two, and uh, we should be able to haul them with the truck. Hopefully, that's the plan anyways. And you already know, this, my, this driveway is like two and a half miles, so... We're just going to fly down at a 60 miles an hour. Why not? It's practically a road, right? It is a beautiful day out here in Nebraska. 54 degrees. It is time to uh, be ripping up land. And luckily, all of our uh, cropland is already all tore up and uh, ready to go, ready to be planted. We don't even have to do any spring tillage, which is amazing. Uh, the neighbors actually helped out my uncle with that uh, before they knew I was coming out. So they actually ripped it all up for us. We don't have to handle that, which is great news. It's really going to help us, you know, keep on top of things and get on track. We have a lot of stuff we need to do. We need to, one, we need to get uh, cattle. And that's what I'm working towards right now. We're getting kind of some supplies that had to uh, get sold off uh, for that cattle business. We, don't, we didn't have a uh, mixer and, uh, and things along those lines. I haven't found a mixer yet. I'm still looking around. I haven't found one I liked, but I did find a hay buster. And uh, we are also picking up a hay rake because that got sold off as well. So we're picking up a couple uh, pieces of equipment that uh, don't really, that, that aren't around um, on the farm right now. And uh, pretty soon we should be getting all that going. Uh, the cattle should be going here soon. Hopefully that is the case. I was Sorry, I was looking at this farm up here and I was like, oh, that got built really fast, didn't it? Look at it. Beautiful, though. No, that's not... That farm's always been there. That's the one I'm looking at. Look at that. Look at that farm. That's actually pretty nice. I think it needs a little bit more uh, grain bins there, though. That's that's not very much for grain storage out here in Nebraska. We run a lot of acres out here. He's going to definitely want some more. We're finally showing up uh, to the shop right up here, the case dealership. And we're going to pick up the couple uh, items that we bought take them back to the farm and uh see what happens from there i got some things that we can do around the farm to prep and stuff in fact we could almost get planting it's not quite warm enough out yet um so we will be getting planting here pretty soon hopefully that is uh we'll, we'll see what happens also side note for anyone that is getting this uh map it's you have to unzip the folder okay so there's a bunch of mods in the folder that you download you have to unzip it and then put those into your mods folder. Another thing is do not run the Seasons Midwest Geo. Don't run the Seasons Midwest Geo. The map has one built into it, and there, it'll conflict if you're running another Geo on top of that, okay? We're picking up our massive hay rake here, and then we'll come back for the, uh, for the bale buster, the hay buster. I think I should be able to pull that with the truck, right? I think so. Oh, would you look at that? We're actually... Uh, it was Austin. Look at that. Very cool. Oh, did he want to talk to us? What's the deal? Uh, he was just hitting the brakes. I don't know. Wow, look at that. You can see our farm off in the distance, and it looks so impressive. And it's got, like, this haze between us, like some dust or something. I don't know what the deal is. There's, like, an atmospheric haze. That is so, so cool. Make sure there's no trains coming before we drive over the tracks. Uh, squeeze back here. Make sure that's all good to go. Perfect. And it just sits on the tires. There's no, uh, no t -t 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 jack. That's, that's the word I was looking for. There's no jack on it. Hold on. What's that say? Do not stand in path of machine. Yeah, really? You think? All right. We're going to go and we're going to pick up the next piece of equipment right after we feed the dog, though. Dog? I don't know where the dog went. The other way. We'll feed him. I'm sure he'll come running now. Oh, he was in his house. Hey, buddy. Yeah, you eat that. Good boy. And as we fly by Grant's place once again, we might as well 
Give him the two honk salute. Wow. That's a nice horn on this truck. Dang. All right. I see you, Dodge. I see you. All right. We're rolling back up to the case dealership. We're going to head in the back, pick up our piece of equipment again. And, oh, looks like Austin is actually still here. Well, we might as well stop and talk to... Oh, what's that? Is that a service truck? Did he buy himself a service truck? Hold on, let's 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 chat with him. Jake. Hey, what's up, man? Nothing much, nothing much. Uh, just coming down here to buy a service truck. Nice, nice yeah. old. What is it, Chevy? Yep, Chevy C70. That's clean, clean looking truck. Yep, no tools or anything, just the welder and uh, air compressor. Yeah, well, I mean, that's not bad though. You can you can put the tools in it. It's not like that's a big issue. Yeah. Oh yeah, very nice clean bench seat, seat not even uh, tore anything. Oh yeah, she mints, redone. It's It's got strobes on it, plow mount, mining wheels, a bit of a lift, two inch lift. Dang, this is nice. Yeah, it's uh, pretty dope. Nice, nice. I just came to pick up my hay buster I bought. Ooh, that's fancy. Yeah, yeah, I'm trying very to fancy. buy back some equipment that my uncle had to sell off and... Trying to get back to uh, to be able to have cattle, you know. I gotta get the we stuff. We shouldn't have sold all of that off for uh, at uh, County Line because <sighs> we know. had so much of that stuff. I know. I didn't see. I didn't know what he had sold off. I didn't know what he had kept. And uh, when I got this out here, true. I saw that he didn't have a lot of cattle stuff anymore. And I was like, oh, come on! I could have just, just brought we it. We sold that thing for like the all this stuff for like half of what we bought it for. Dude, no, because I bought the Haybuster at auction for dumb cheap. Oh, I had to pay so I much guess. more for this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's true. That's true. Uh, oh, well. You live and you learn, right? Yeah, yeah. What are you up to today? Uh, Not a whole lot, to be honest with you. It's too cold to plant, and uh, all my stuff's already tilled. So I'm just kind of doing some, some housekeeping, trying to make sure all the equipment's in order. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm fixing to do some tilling. Oh, yeah? Yeah. You, uh, you, do you need some help with that? How much land you got? That, I actually got a good amount of land, and that would actually be awesome. Okay. I'll, I mean, if you don't mind, I can help you out. I got nothing yeah, much that'd more be, to that'd do. Be so. sweet. Okay. Uh, do you want, I mean, the only thing I got, I've got a Landall subsoiler, a big old machine. That'll so, work. Okay. I just wanted to make sure it wasn't like super tiny fields or something, but. Uh, no, we got pretty big fields, but there is one really tiny field, but I can hit that with my cultivator, but. Yeah. Okay. That work perfect. All right, cool. Well, sounds like we're going to be doing some ripping for Austin today. It's not like we had a whole lot to do on our farm, to be honest with you. I know we just moved out out here, but don't have any cattle right now. Don't have all the equipment needed for cattle, so not looking to uh, get into that quite yet. We need to get some uh, hay and stuff, all that good stuff. Uh, some silage would be nice, so we'll probably plant mo mostly corn. And, uh, yeah, so for that reason... We don't have a whole lot to do, so I think we might as well just uh, go ahead and give the 9RT a try on the Landall Ripper. Take it over to Austin's place and see how it performs. But for now, let's get this over to the farm and uh, we will go over to Austin's whenever I get back from there. It's going to be a long drive. All right, we just showed back up to the farm here. We're going to drop the hay buster off in the back, actually where the cattle are, or where cattle will go, that's going to work better for us. Four-wheel drive through the mud is not going to be any problem. Nice and easy. Look at this thing. Pulls it like a champ. Doesn't even know the mud's here. That's what it means to drive a Dodge, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> uh, now everyone's going to be like, nah, -uh, Dodge isn't that good. Ford's better. Or they're going to be like, Chevy's better. It, all trucks perform the same task, everyone. I... I <laughs> It, it's just it's just a joke that's all anyways uh where do i want to put this bad boy i think i'm just gonna actually put it back here in the old uh cattle barn i think that's where we're gonna put it that's probably the best place for it for now and there we go that's put away in fact uh yeah i was thinking about leaving the truck on it for a second but we're not gonna do that close up the doors 1974. Is that when the barn was built? Very cool. Let's hop back in the truck. 
And ta-da! This thing is massive. Holy cow. 9570 RT. I'm excited. I'm excited to give this a drive. Runs like a deer. Listen to that baby purr. Let's pull out of here nice and careful, though. Don't hit anything. Perfect. And now we got to back in and connect up to that land all, which is like shoved between these poles on this pole barn. This is going to be a bit of a pain, maybe. This 9RT should fit, right? Let's double check the height before we pull in. Oh, yeah, we're good. We're, we're plenty good. This 9RT is really, really nice, and I'm excited to be using it. It has GPS on it, too. It's going to be a very, very useful tractor for us here on this farm. But I turn on them flashers. Turn on our uh, our strobes. Pull this bad boy right on out. Nice and easy. We're clear. And let's roll over to Austin's. In fact, he suggested I go... He suggested I go south here. Um, because I won't be able to get through that... You know that bridge that we went through the other day? That was super narrow. We won't be able to fit through it. So, we're going to have to kind of cut along the south side, along uh, our neighbor's field. I think it's going to be okay. I think there's a grass path that leads uh, leads over there. And instead of going left, we will go to the right. And we'll just follow this all the way down. Alright, we followed this little grass path the whole way and we fit on it. We're at the highway now. That actually worked out really, really well. And it was a short drive, too. It was not a long drive. I am so glad that this 9RT is not one of the tractors I got sold off when my uncle needed to sell stuff off because whoo, I really, really like it. I, I'm really looking forward to using this an absurd amount. <laughs> I think even for jobs where it's not required, I'm going to try and find an excuse to you. Oh, look, there's Austin over there. guess I could have just pulled off over there and met with him. Either way, we're at his place now. And uh, we'll see what he wants us to rip up. I'm sure he's going to just meet us right down here. Yep. Hey, Austin. What's up? Uh, nothing much. I'm just starting ripping on here. If you want to get going on this field, this that one right over here. Sweet. Yeah, uh, just all don't right. rip up the road is all. Uh, yeah. All I request. Yeah. Uh, we'll well, do. That, you're good to go. Shouldn't take me too long with this beast. Uh, you got CV on that? Yep. 13 like usual. Yep. All righty. All right, we're going to just uh, pull down here, get unfolded. And I should probably not have done that, so I'm out of his way. I'll get out of his way there. Yeah, my ripper is a little bigger than yours. <laughs> I mean, he's got a nice nice setup there, for sure. That 82, I, you know, he's running the 7R with that disc. That's actually a really nice setup. But this thing is massive and you honestly practically can't beat it i'm i really like this this over here is very muddy and i don't know what the deal is about that i don't know if i'm supposed to rip that up uh but we'll give it a try hopefully it doesn't plug up i'm gonna go ahead and back up here and go drop her down figure out the controls perfect and uh i don't know how fast we're gonna be able to go on this we're gonna turn off the flasher and the beacon just because those are gonna annoy me oh Put her in, put her in forward, Jake. There we go. Well, we're ripping. There we go. And looks like this over here doesn't uh, want to rip up. It's a little too muddy. I'm gonna have to get out of that. It's gonna cause me some, some grief and some issues later on. What I'm gonna do is do a headland, and then maybe set up GPS. We'll see. Ooh, turning this tight. You don't want to turn it that tight. Uh, you don't want to do turns like that. You'll break the discs, but. That's all right. Rippin's going all right over here. Yeah, it's a little bit goopy over here, but not too many issues. Uh, where I'm at now, it's it's fairly solid, not too wet. Pretty flat, so don't have to worry about it too much. Yeah, that's a massive ripper you got there. Yeah, dude, it is. It's, uh, it's doing the job really well. I can rip at about 10 mile an hour with this thing. I might need something bigger eventually. I, I think this 7R could run something just a little bit bigger. Yeah, I was looking at your setup, and I mean, it's a nice setup, but uh, for the size of fields that are out here, it, it, it's probably a little time-consuming. Yeah, it is. I do notice uh, you got a couple patches of uh, weeds popping up out here in this field, so disc and this should take care of that. But um, 
I mean, it'll take care of the weeds that are popping up now, but it's not going to take care of the seeds that are already in the ground. So if you can't get crop in soon enough, you might just uh, need to get that sprayed off. Yeah, I don't know. Do you have a sprayer there? Um, I have the Terrigator. And uh, I don't... No, I don't have a sprayer spreader for it. Uh, but I can, I can look around and see if there is one around. Because I was wanting to buy that anyways. Alrighty. You know, I'm not one to like flat land. I like hills, I like mountains and stuff like that. But it's oddly beautiful here. This is true. Yeah, I like it here. I don't know what it is about just the simplistic landscape and being able to see for like literal years into the future, but it's pretty nice. Yeah, kind of reminds me a bit of a S Saskatchewan there. Oh, does it? Yeah, just super flat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, essentially uh, kind of the same region, if, you know, if you look at it with, uh, is that longitude or latitude? I don't really know. No idea. North and south is what I'm going with here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I was taking this uh, track tractor out of my shed, and it's uh, a lot of there's a lot of mud there, and uh, everything else that I ever driven through there, you know, it kind of bogs down a little bit, digs down into the mud, you know. These yeah. tracks floated right over it, not a problem. Didn't even know there was mud there. Yeah, that's what I'm finding with this uh, with these floater tires on it. So it'll just float right across. It'll really call nice. Floater tires for nothing. Really useful, especially for these wet years like this. Yeah, I would kill for an 8RX. Oh yeah, that'd be really that'd be really cool. Really yeah. nice to have. They yeah, have I'm them out here yet, but they might. I'm really happy Same. with this uh, 9RT. I'm glad that this isn't something that got sold off from uh, my yeah. uncle's farm. Nice piece of equipment here. Otherwise, I would have had to been out here, and uh, I think I got an 8400 as the next biggest tractor I've got. So uh, that wouldn't Ooh, quite boy. pull this, probably, but. Yeah. I could have tried, I guess. Wouldn't have liked it. Oh, oh, dude. I think I blew a hydraulic line. Did you? Yeah. Spitting, spitting oil everywhere, or what? Yeah, I can't, I can't move it. I can't move it up. Oh boy. That's not good. Okay, let me, oh, let me I come over there and check it. I might just spurt hydraulic oil all over the place. Well. Dude, this thing is. Oh yeah, I see it. Which one is it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, I don't have any spare hydraulic hoses. Yeah, and they're not. That's a long hose too. That's what. That's all the way. All is the that way to the rear? Here. That's oh, to the rear. Oh, that's. That's right. It's the one right here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's not quite as bad. That's not too bad, but. No, but that's. Mm. I mean, they're expensive, man. Dude, this is gonna suck. This is gonna suck. They okay, I'm gonna expensive. shut my tractor off here real quick. Yeah, that's a good idea. Don't want to run anymore. Ah, uh, dang it. Okay. Um. Well, do you, uh, how do you, how are these hoses uh on here? Are they just zippy tied. Um, yeah, they just zip. They just zip tied. Okay. Right. Um, so what we're gonna okay, need? So... We're gonna need a uh a wrench to undo it on the coupling over here. Yep. Uh, do you have anything in your toolbox in your tractor? Uh, n oh yeah, okay, yeah I got one. Okay. Let, let's hope it's right, it's right size. Okay, it's the right size. All I right. got this side off. Cool. And now all we have to do is unplug this one. Yep. Uh, here, let me see if my pocket knife. I'll clip these zippy ties along here. There we go. We'll have to retie those because they are all they. That's for yep. every hose, but that's fine. All right. It's all good. Uh, you pull. I'll feed it to you here. Okay. Yeah. Keep going. Keep going. You're fine. You're good. There you go. You're free. All right. We got her out. All yeah, right. Yeah, that's definitely busted. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's got a clean, clean crack in it. Yeah. Uh, how big would you say that hydraulic hose is? Uh, that's a... What? That's a got to be a 12-footer? Would you say? Is that yeah, a twelve? I guess yeah, a twelve. Twelve. I mean, they'll be able to when you take when we take it. Uh, oh, is there a parts store in town? Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. When we take it there, they'll just line it up and they'll literally um, make the yeah, new hose right off the old one. So. Right for it. Okay. Yeah. Uh. 
shoot. Okay, well, I guess we'll just unhook this, run back to the yard, and grab, jump in the service truck and Yeah, and you know what? Just leave store. all this hooked up. I'll give you a ride in the uh, 9RT back over all to the right. yard, and then we'll run into town in your truck. Yeah, sure. Actually, it's kind of getting, I'm kind of getting hungry here, so we might stop for something to eat. Oh, that, that sounds good to me. I'm hungry, too. All right. Where's yeah, your truck? Uh, let's, oh, just over here. We'll uh, run into town here, and we'll grab a quick bite to eat, and we'll pick up that hydraulic hose. All right. Sounds like a plan. All right, bud. Let's go get some stuff to eat. I'm the Country Line or Lime Family Restaurant. Country Line? Country Line. Yeah. Huh. Interesting. All right. Let's, let's give yeah, it a try. Me and Clutch stopped in here. I was stopping in here for a bite to eat, and I met Clutch here, and it was actually a really good place. It's like the a better version of the Waffle House. Oh, awesome. That's let's, really good. let's see how it is. Yeah. That was delicious. Told you. I think Told that's got to be my new favorite place to eat in town. I mean, it's the only place yep. I've eaten in town, but uh, it's yeah, already it's, my it's favorite. It's the only place you can eat in town. <laughs> oh, well, even they don't need two because they got one that's that's equivalent of two, man. It yep. that was really good. Told you. Okay, there's tractor supply right down there, so let's jump in the truck and let's go. All right. I'll squeeze through here. Sorry. All right, let's rip in there. They're about to close. Oh, yeah. It's getting late. Let's hurry up and get them <laughs> yep. uh, get this hose made. All right. New hose in hand. Let's that keep going. was expensive. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, know. I, hate, I hate breaking hydraulic hoses. Throw it okay. in the back and let's get over there yep. so we can get back to work. All right. Let's get this thing replaced. All right. I'll grab the end. Go grab the hydraulic line. Okay. Got it. I'll grab the end here. Feed it through. Keep her coming. There you go. Okay, I'm going to plug it right in. All right. Yeah, you got that there wrench? Go. Where's that wrench at? Yeah, right in my pocket. All there right. you go. Thank you. Tighten this thing down. Oh, come on, Jake. Lefty Lucy, ratty tidy. Yeah, come on, bud. Come on. All right, there we go. Got her? Do you right, need to... Are you, low on, are you low on hydraulic fluid? Uh, let me check. Starting up here. Just wait a minute. Nope, we're good. We barely lost any. All right. Well, give her a try. All right. Looking good. Perfect. Let me uh, take these zippy ties out of this compartment and uh, get those latched again here. All right. I'll lift her up so it's a bit easier for you to get under there. Thanks. All right. There we go. Got her. Got all that uh, tied back down. Good to go. Just like new. All right. Well, it's already getting late afternoon. I think we carry this on later. I agree. I uh, think I'll just uh, snag a ride with you back to my tractor and uh, we'll call it a day. Yep. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this one. Hopefully you enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure to give it a like. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, I'll see y'all later.